For Comedy Hype News, I'm Jay Will. Last week, the highly anticipated sequel to Coming to America was released and would receive mixed reviews. Fans and critics alike were split down the middle when it came to their thoughts on Coming to America. Some enjoyed the film and seeing the cast of the original reunite, and others thought the sequel shouldn't have been made and would have preferred if Eddie left the beloved classic alone. Eric LaSalle, who made a name for himself as Daryl Jenkins, Lisa's boyfriend in the original Coming to America, and as Dr. Peter Benson on the drama ER, recently appeared as a guest on Sway in the Morning, where he responded to all the negative criticism that the sequel has been receiving. A Sway in the Morning co-host will point out that some people thought they shouldn't have made the sequel because it's simply not as good as the original, and in other words, they felt that the movie was trash. The interviewer asked LaSalle where the fine line is between having an opinion as opposed to being so negative where it becomes counterproductive. Eric, um, I, I just need to bring up Coming to America for the purpose of this question because we were talking about the sequel the other day and people are allowed to have their opinion. You can love a film, you can not like a film, you can be indifferent towards it, but when, when, when we constantly say we need to support each other in order to get, like you were saying earlier, you know, the power of your journey and the power in this industry in order to make the kind of films and, and produce the kind of stories that we want to be told. Um, it, it almost seems um, anti-productive or counterproductive for people to just constantly knock down someone like an Eddie Murphy, who's putting people in front of the camera, behind the camera, actors who are legends, actors who are newcomers and things like that, where it's like, you know, we're, we're trying to do something, but then you have people who are saying, oh, this film is trash. Uh, it's not as good as a sequel. I just wanted to get your opinion on, I guess, where that line is, like having an opinion, but also not being so negative towards it that it that it that it's counterproductive. Yeah, and I think that's the, you know, listen, the bottom line is, you know, we, we've all been compromised in many ways as much as it's helped um, society Social media has also, I think, hurt us uh, because um, it's empowered. Everyone has a voice, and that's a, that's a cool thing. Here's the problem. Not everyone understands the responsibility of having mm. a voice. Mm. And so, you know, like the, the bottom line is the way we used to say it back in the day is, you know, everybody ain't ready for a microphone. You know, or a megaphone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you know, we've all been at we've all been at those events. We've always, particularly, you know, we've all been at the black event. If somebody would get up on the mic and they do a monologue, right? And you're like, yeah, that ain't what this is about because that person doesn't understand the responsibility of the power of that microphone. Now, social media is uh, the, the the microphone that everyone has access to, and so it's one thing for me to disagree with someone or with something, um, I, I understand that that's just my opinion. Um, I don't need to tear down the efforts of a person. I don't need to destroy a person's reputation and efforts. No one's setting out to do a failure. No one's setting out to do a bad film or a bad song or, you know what I mean? Like the young brother mm -hmm. you guys just had on, um, you know, Mando. devilish ways. What, like, he's not setting out to do whatever. Like, so people can bench him, people can do whatever. This person is trying to do the best they can with what they have. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to respond to it. And that's the point. They say, okay, I don't like it. I won't listen to it. It, it, it stops there. But people want to have this moment. They want to have that microphone, that megaphone. They want to have that moment. So it goes beyond disagreeing. They've got to avoid, they got to tear it down. They got to be, and that's where I think we need to learn more responsibility with the power of having a voice. And not everybody is, uh, is ready for prime time. In the comments of the clip that was shared on social media, users would voice their opinions on the new movie and why people shouldn't just accept a movie simply because they see themselves represented on screen. Most sequels aren't great, that's just the truth. The Last Bad Boys wasn't great either. It is what it is. I don't want anyone around me saying a movie I made was good just because. If that shit was corny or whack, you better tell me. Don't black guilt me into liking something that wasn't good. Now back in 2019, the Griot would report that LaSalle was asked by a group of journalists if he would appear in the sequel and he quickly responded no. Straight to the point, I knew where you were going with it, I'm a little busy right now with this show. Now the show LaSalle was referring to at the time was Chicago PD. LaSalle is credited as an executive producer and director for the popular police drama, having produced over 50 episodes and directing over 20. 
Many fans were disappointed in LaSalle's abrupt answer for not returning to Coming to America sequel. They wanted to know what Daryl and the Soul Glow franchise have been up to for the past 30 years. Now, ironically, LaSalle's schedule seems to be a bit clear at the time, being as LaSalle will be leaving Chicago PD. Fortunately, his schedule won't be empty for too long as he has just taken on a new job working with producer Dick Wolf's new show, according to Yahoo Entertainment. When the sequel to Coming to America was first announced, fans were excited for a follow-up to their favorite characters from Zamunda and Queens. But as it began streaming, it looks like the excitement slowed down based on reviews. Eric LaSalle's perspective on fans bashing film and TV projects opened up the eyes of the interviewer and some of those listening to the show. After LaSalle's interview, some may have a new outlook on Coming to America too, but we still have to ask, can black people criticize their art without it being considered damaging for black people? For more news and comedy, be sure to head over to ComedyHype.com and follow us across all social media. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Jay Will.